Okay then, so these fans were here, they are from S Sahara Gaming and do these look familiar? They even got the connect thing on the side. Now first of all what we're going to see is what comes with them, then it comes with this little PCB here to control the fans, the PD, uh, PWM and the ARGB which is, of course is SATA which is good and obviously you put that to your motherboard. Then it comes with actually extensions with this clip. Now you plug this in like Lee and Lee does with their fans. But these are literally are actually £35 for a pack of three where Lee and Lee Uni fans are like 90 quid for three, which is ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do now is we'll take a look at the fans themselves we'll have a look at the connections to see how they connect together then i'm going to show you the overall clipping and stuff like that and then we'll get into the overall illumination and see what the rgb and then we'll do also a noise test on the fans to see how loud they really are okay so now i've taken them out of the pack gent. now these are very similar to the lee and lee fans but before you connect these together as you can see there please tear this sticker off before use now what you obviously you know how to do a sticker so like that pop there yeah it's got mirrored rgb on each side and then of course it's got oh well sorry it's got infinity mirror which has got in the center and then it's got on both of these sides so the way they connect together is like this so like that okay so now you clip them in just like that and then just like that they remind you of Lee and Lee fans because they certainly do to me now I've never actually looked at Lee and Lee fans in person because getting in contact with them is a nightmare you've got to go through that automated uh, like online thing which is a pain in the butt so yeah but as you can see it yeah, and then of course they all line up exactly and then you just put them on your radiator or your AIO or something like that or you could just have these with basic case fans as long as it hasn't as long as it hasn't got a very big space but that is what it's like and then what you do when is you've got a connector that connects to this part which is actually in here is it so then there's the connector part for that and you connect this then to here so you go like that oh that way that way right okay so like this then like that and then it's connected then of course then you've got your pwm and then that's where your argb comes and then that's where this comes from this hub thing which is for the to control lip because I'm assuming with the amount of LEDs or the uh, the LEDs individual LEDs, especially the minute uh, the infinity mirrors, it's going to take a lot of power to run these. So I'm assuming that, of course, you would this is required. So what I will say is the fit is actually very nice. Now it's a very nice design, and let's have a look what these look like. Lighten up. Okay then, so I've got the ARGB hub by here connected up to my PC. Now this saves a lot of wires. So what we're going to do is connect this now up to this. So here we go, through one. You will see the fans pop up now. Pop on. There's the fans. And now for the RGB, which I'm very looking forward to. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Let me turn off my light so you can actually see a prop. Oh, wow. Look at them. Now, I don't know if you can actually shoot that. I don't know if that's actually full, like... Oh, right, oh, it comes with an actual button to do it as well. Now it does come with another RGB connector like that below there, which you could connect to your motherboard, so you could just connect it that way, but, oh. Oh, there we go, oh, wow. 
Now, I like the RGB. That, oh, that is lovely. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. I love the overall effect. So, let's have a look. Is it? No, I like that. That as well. Oh, wow. It's got loads of different effects. This is a breathing one. Oh, wait. Then we got this one. Oh, wow. What I will say, mind, is the... Why isn't the holler effect working then? I don't know. Oh, it is working. Oh, wow. Okay, a little bit of an indicator. That's how much air it moves. So, is the infinity mirror working? Yes, the infinity mirror is indeed working. Look at that. That looks, that looks so cool. Now, like I said, the pack of three for £35. You know something, all right? If I had known about these earlier, I would have bought a pack of these myself because I've been looking for white fans because I've got a white bill coming up. But what I will say is the overall quality, especially the RGB, is amazing. And if you guys want me to review them, all you've got to do is just comment down below and I will make sure to review them. But overall, these get my huge stamp of approval because look at those. They're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at that. There's so many. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. there we go. Look at that. That is so cool. Wow. Very impressed. Sahara Gaming, you've got my stamp of approval on this. Because I just love these fans. They're absolutely stunning. Loads of different modes. But uh, I have got to say, the purple ones look better. So, yeah. Right then. So, what did you think of that? Now look, I am a big advocate when it comes to RGB. If you are a fan of the channel, you are going to know that I love my RGB. I love the fact that you can change it to whatever colour you want. And I, I'm a big advocate for RGB. Now, Sahara Gaming, these are brand new ARGB fans from them. And I saw them put a post on Facebook. And last year I had a chance to actually work with them, but I decided not to. But this year I saw this and RGB fans I can actually do something with. Now I've requested two packs of these, so I've got two packs of these because I'm getting the I'm getting a king case from Montec in white. Now these are gonna go perfectly with that build. So yeah, 35 quid for these type of fans and the less cable management than normal RGB fans. To be honest, what else can you really say? Now, what I will say though, that Thermalright has just brought out similar fans to these. They're not the like connect ones, not from what I could tell, but I don't know. So as Thermalright and obviously China, they're going through their Chinese New Year. I won't have anything off them now until after the 20th of February. So, seeing as their new ones have just come out on Amazon, I bought three. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe for that because I've got loads of stuff coming. Be quiet. There's also Bits Power is also going to be sponsoring a hardline custom water cooling set up so make sure you subscribe for that and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you this is rich for welsh tech good bye